In this video, we're going to look at number recognition, a little bit of counting, and we're going to think about the beginnings of letter formation. And all you'll really need are some objects that you've probably got lying around the house, toys, little figures, cubes, Lego. And this is actually just a little chopping board out of Ikea. It's great because you can use whiteboard pen on it and clean it off later on. And you can use it for loads of different activities, especially if you're going to use Play-Doh on there. And as you can see, all I have done is I have drawn a nice big number two onto my board. And we're really just going to make that association between counting, recognising the number and beginning to form it. James hasn't really started number formation yet, so we're going to use uh, Play-Doh to help with that number formation and talking him through the procedures of how to create that number. Let him make it before he actually goes to the formal writing of it. So James, can you tell me what number this is? Two. So that's our number recognition. Can you get me two Legos? So this is where you get your counting coming in. Okay, that's a set of two Legos. Can we join them together? Is that okay? Could you get me a set of two cubes? In your pot. Lovely. Could you make me a set of two Moshi Monsters? Okay, let's put them over here because we want them all to be separate, don't we? They want this to be two, and this to be two, and this to be two. Could you make me two Play-Dohs? Okay, so actually just looking at two in different representations. Now here comes the hard bit. I've got a big snakey here for you. Do you see him? Ooh. Okay, do you think you can use this big snakey? to make a number two. Now I've drawn the number two for you to follow. Do you think you can use your Play-Doh snakey to make a two? Now remember, how do we make a two? Can you remember what I told you what a two looks like a Round. little? Yeah, that's very good. It's like a little duck, isn't it? It goes round, down at an angle, and a tail. Round, down at an angle, and a tail. You want to try it with your snakey? Yeah. Let's see if you can put this on here. This is really good for fine motor skills as well. Okay, so put it around. That's his little head. And can you trace? And it is a nice activity for getting those ideas of tracing and following lines. That's beautiful, James. And can you make his tail? Want me to hold that for you? You can stick it down if you want. Lovely. So we've got... Okay, lovely. Right now, we're going to leave our snakey there. Can you put all your twos back in? And I'm just going to use a baby wipe and clean this two off. Can you just put all those back in for me, please? Okay, and we're going to look at a new number this time. Okay, are you ready? This time, we're going to look at the number I will show you. Put those Legos in. Are you ready? And as I say, this is why this board's so perfect. You can just keep writing on it, changing it around, doing whatever you want. Okay. What number do we have now? Three. Three. So can you make me a tower of three Legos? Right. Let me hear you counting. One, two, three. Can you make me a tower of three cubes? Oh, you had two there already. What are you going to just do to that two? That's another one. Oh, lovely. That was clever. I, I can clothes. break it. Oh, that right, was very so clever. Okay. Three moshy monsters. One, two. Oops. You can't Three. Go there. Right, so have you got three? No. One, and again, two. this idea of sorting objects as well is a really important mathematical skill three. at this stage. Okay, one. Oh, you put him down flat. It's okay. There we go. Put him back. There. Have we got three now? No, no, no I, I'm, I'm trying to get another golden one. Oh, you want the matching one. So again, he's now starting to think about the idea of similar colours as well, which golden. is great. Oh, so that's a matching set because you've got three golden ones. What about your Play-Dohs? How could you check you've got three in that set? One, two, three. Good boy. Now, this is going to be the difficult one. 
Do Four. you think that you can make a three with your big play doh sausage? Now I remember three goes bumpity bump. Let me see you doing it in the air. Bumpity bump. Okay, right, have a go. Start at the top. Let's work. Oh, don't worry, just leave those over there and they can stay there. So around. So again, focusing on that idea of tracing. And then it'll come much easier to them when they're actually tracing the numbers uh, or the letters when they um, or numbers when they've um, got a pencil in their hand. Oh dear, do we need to make our snake a bit longer? Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. right. No, no, don't squeeze them up. Just make them roll them a bit. Is his tail falling off? Yeah. Oh dear. He's a bit of a silly snake, isn't he? Uh, uh, Are you going to do the teeny, end? Teeny. Right, do you think it's long enough now? Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. So it was too yeah. short, wasn't it? Yeah. So again, exploring that idea of length too. Ah, okay. It's That's okay, leave his tail. We'll stick it on at the end. Right, see if you've got enough now. Okay, pop a squish that on there so it stays. Have we got enough? Yeah. yeah, just enough, and we've made a beautiful number three. Three. Three, 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 three. Excellent. We're going to continue on with the other numbers, but as you can see, a really fun, easy activity that just allows your child to explore those numbers in different ways and different contexts.